You are the journalist, aren't you? I gave him your letter the other day. Literally all we know is we're a journalist visiting an old man. So I guess the old man's dying wish is for us to take the egg back to the Amazon. Take the egg of the white birds back to Amazon, I beg you, please. <laughs> An entire generation of birds is in one single egg, which they then lay on a volcano because it's clearly like the safest place to put an egg. I don't know, but the dude in this story is going all colonialist, and he literally just wants to steal the egg and take it back to Europe. So I guess now we just have to bring it back because he feels bad or something. All right, we've got a computer in here, a little diskette. Password. Old people have no creativity. The password is definitely his birthday. Okay, good, I'm right. Guess I unlocked a door. All right, so there's our boat, I mean plane. So can I drop the diskette in here? Okay, so. Fuel okay. Details, no. Egg, no. It'd be cool to have egg, but I don't have egg. Oh well, let's find egg. Where do we think egg could be? I guess this is just explaining that there's a middle path here. How do I get this thing to stop in the middle? Is there like somewhere I can use like this hook or something? I can put it, do I gotta find the pixel here? What is that, oh. That is definitely a pixel that's kind of tough to find. So yeah, now I'm halfway through, can break down this wall. And yeah, what's here, what do we got? Oh, oh that's the ego. So. We are mounting the white egg onto our plane so we can fly it to the amber zone. Are we heading out now? Oh, we are! All right, we're following the birds to the amber zone. Why are we out of gas? The tank was there. You could have brought it with you or filled it up, and you just neglected to do that. If you don't want to get stranded on an island, you just have to, like, actually think with your brain. But you didn't do that. Helicopter now? Can we do submarine? Wait, what? We have no fuel. How are we able to go submarine? Sure, whatever. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Oh, dude, a dude. What's going on here, fisherman? Hey, hey, there's a whale trap down below. So as long as it's there, the fish will not bite, that's for sure. When I'm in a bad mood, These wooden planks seem really far like apart. Talking. What's this guy talking about? Yeah, I mean, just look how far apart these wooden planks are. You'd think when you made a dock like this that you'd put them closer together. Sorry, what am I going on about? Do you ever feel bad for potatoes? I feel like a potato is just like one big lumpy brain. You know, I feel like they're screaming on the inside, just like me, all the time. I'm screaming on the inside, please help. Is this not even the Amazon? Is this just some island we stopped on all the, on the way because we ran out of gas? Let's just free the whale or something. All right, we're a good person. We saved the whale. Nature is saved. How quaint. And we're out of fuel again. I feel like this is a constant problem. But okay, we made it to Amazon. And it's basically Cuba, I guess? Oh well, this is cool. We get to sail down the river and probably get shot at by nationals. Alright, this is a nice little village here. Besides the air of an oppressive dictatorial regime, this place looks kind of nice. Oh, and the dead... the dead animals. That's also not very nice. Also the fact that the buildings are falling apart. And there's no people anywhere. Yeah, maybe, like, this place isn't so nice to live. Oh, and the bugs everywhere. Yeah, I'd hate that, too. And, like, the humidity. That would be pretty bad. But, like, it kind of looks pretty-ish. I mean, it's kind of all gray. Everyone loves to go down wells, right? My first instinct when going to a town is to go down the well and go into, like, some weird giant cave that exists down here. Why are you keeping paintings at the bottom of a well? Isn't this place supposed to be filled with water? What is the purpose of a well? But, okay, we're in a church now. Don't delude yourself. So taking the egg back isn't important just because he stole it. It also gives people hope. And with hope, people be able to liberate the country from the soldiers. People need something to believe in, to hope in, you know. Ah, look at this nice lore that's being built. The fact that there's a bird on the chalkboard clearly shows that the white bird is very important to them. The fact that there are only six desks in here tells you that this is a fairly small town. The fact there's a bust of a dude in the classroom constantly staring at you like a great leader. 
Antonio Alvarez. I mean, I assume by the hat that he's the dictator. I mean, specifically, like, with the shouty face here. I mean, he's the spitting image of Kimmy. But it's good that they're teaching people mm -hmm. to... Oh, God, who's this guy? Okay, we wound up in prison. There's a pixel somewhere around here. I'm on one screen. I can find my way out of this. Who's this bug? Bug jar tequila? Yes, okay. Oh, it's a poisonous bug. I see. And that means we can just steal the key. Is he dead, you think? Like, permanently dead? As opposed to temporarily? And we steal his gas. These soldiers don't do a good job upkeeping this place. Like, this place seems very dead. Especially considering the fact that everyone keeps dying. Alright, chapter four. Getting deeper into the heart of darkness. This game just constantly getting gasped. I mean, this thing was literally designed for the explicit purpose of going to this place. You'd think he could provide the exact right amount of fuel to get there. Looks like there's a traffic jam. Get out of the road! Oh, no. Ow. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I broke the engine. Okay, we could still grapple our way forward. Yeah, let's go. No? The rock. Hit the rock? Come on, hit, do something. Attach to something. There's nothing on the screen. Oh, this is taking forever. Do I have to aim this somehow? How do I even have the ability to aim anyway? I've literally been sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what to do. Okay, yeah, grapple mode. Okay, now just throw the grapple. What the frick? Okay, I think you have to click and then it gives absolutely no acknowledgement that you did anything. And then you go. I see. So if I click over here, I miss, right? Can this thing just turn a different color when you've selected something so you know that you've actually done something? Oh, but now there's birds. Good. Actually, those are more like velociraptors than birds. See, he's laughing at us. Are these animals smart enough to, like, hate me? Okay, they're being mean. Uh, what else can we do to stop them from being mean? Looks like we can get out and maybe go around this way. These bees just sound like a dying cell phone. What item can I get? There must be something around here. Time to search the place. This is such a small space. How am I this stuck? I don't get it. Where's the thing? Oh, little stick on the ground. All right. He made the bees get them out of the way. Thanks, bees. Chapter four was painful, but now we're on chapter five. Okay, this is the elevator. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything yet. Is that a snake? I feel like I need the snake to go away for me to be able to use the elevator to get the boat forward. I have an idea for a story. What if you run out of gas? And then you run out of gas again. What if your boat breaks down? What if your boat breaks down again? What if your boat breaks down again after that? <laughs> oh, hey, a person. Ovu. 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 What? I mean, you're just sitting here. You know, you could, like bury the bodies. Maybe it's Halloween here. It is kind of weird when you think about it that the cheaper the Halloween decorations become, the more authentic they become. I mean, she didn't have to do anything at all to get these Halloween decorations. Oh yeah, here's the ritual. First you offer an egg to the woman, and then the woman sticks a stick in it, maybe. Maybe ovu is just their word for egg. Ovu. Yes, ovu. Vulao. Ovu. Okay, great. So, we did some ritual. Now the egg will maybe hatch. Alright, we're good. We got up the waterfall. Alright, we did all that just to destroy our boat. I mean, we didn't go very far. Like, we're barely at the top of this waterfall. Huh, is this just like a swamp maze? Great. I love swamp mazes. They're so much fun. Okay, I summoned, uh... Alright, let's hitch a ride on the giraffe camels. Let's go! Okay, now this sketch rope to nowhere. The temple. 
Who's this dude? Power. <laughs> no power. Do you really know what power is? Power is always fear. The fear of the one that possesses it, who risks losing it, and who then fears the one who is the victim of it. The enemy of power, my friend, is not liberty, not democracy. You know, all that miserable nonsense. The enemy of power is the dream. The dream! But you'll never understand that. I mean a real dream, not those common, mind-dulling fairy tales that anesthetize people while you keep them under your heel. <sighs> I won't let you go any further. What? I'm sorry, was this guy literally just here to give the weirdest power speech ever and then just keel over and die right before he was about to shoot us? Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, it's the volcano. All right, that's, that was our goal the whole time. Get the egg into the volcano, right? Theoretically... The game should end because the bird will hatch, right? Egg and volcano. Just use the egg! Uh, what else do I have left? Seriously. Wait, was that something? Oh, here we go. What is that? A bird pin? Sure, whatever. Let's use the bird pin. That, that, that'll that work, right? Wait, what? What did that do? Why? Do something. Just what do I do? There's nothing left for me to click on. It's not even letting me leave, even though the arrow's here. I can't click and it doesn't let me leave. So it, it straight up just seems bugged. Let me just try this again now. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying this all again. The last time I saved was back here. So yeah, I got to do this whole chapter 5 and chapter 6 again. But I was literally stuck in the water buffalo section longer than it took me to get back. So, I mean, can I really complain? Let's try this again. So put the egg down. Literally the same thing happens. I think I just soft locked it twice. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, what? Where was this? There was a thing here? What? There's just like a throne of fire? How come I didn't see this? And now I could put it down. Now I could stab it? Yeah, alright, there we go. So I literally just was soft locked. Great. The story goes birds never stop flying. These are but stories. Stories that feed the dreams of the children who live in the Amazon. Oh, that's it. Just, we, we hatch the eggs, and then it, it just ends. Okay. Now, for me personally, I think this game should have ended with someone pointing up to the sky and looking all hopeful. Because otherwise, I'm convinced that everyone in this country is already dead. 